Hi, this is Kendra from Pencil and Pigment, and today I'm doing watercolor bookmarks. Now, I am using a really thick watercolor paper. I'm using the Arches 640 gram cold press. Um, and I chose to use this because our bookmarks, <laughs> they get well loved and worn out. But I, I obviously I started on this earlier, so this is after about two hours. And I had washi tape in these stripes, dividing everything up. And one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm making six bookmarks. They're about two inches wide, uh, five centimeters wide-ish, and then nine inches tall. I'm not gonna cut them shorter. I like mine long and sticking out all the ends. But I went with vertical designs. So floral motifs work really, really well when designing bookmarks. Abstract, anything like that. These are going to be, <laughs> it's going to have a stripe. This one's going to have a stripe. And this one I haven't painted yet. So I'm going to paint this one first right here. And then while that dries, we will get to illustrating and doodling and creating on things. So... And I think I might just, let me make sure I have this in my view. And I'm just going to add colors everywhere because I am kind of in a color mood. And I'm going to leave part of this white. I'm probably going to leave the edge up here white. And then I'm going to come in with, I think, a white pen and do some abstract sort of design. If I have some that look, you know, stylized, I like to have some abstract too. It doesn't really matter. It's whatever. If you're gifting for someone, um, it helps to know what their favorite color is, some of their interests, their hobbies. I, it's really, really tempting to make things that you like for you. But if it's a gift, figure out the color scheme they prefer and some of the subject matter they really enjoy. And that makes it just extra personalized. Um, the other things you can do, I don't own a laminator and uh, I think <laughs> I think we all know by now I'm doing a no buy for the year. But if you have something like packing tape that you can seal them to make them durable, sort of seal the edges or contact paper, something like that. Um, another option of decorative things you can kind of create on a bookmark is adding ribbon, and I have tons and tons of ribbon. But baker's twine, string, embroidery floss, anything you can braid, add beads to them. Um, I'm gonna add some of this color, this color is wild. You know, yarn, rickrack, thread. Oh yeah, that looks nice. And you can punch a hole at the top, you can seal it with tape, that one little section before you punch, and that'll re sort of reinforce it. Um, unless you have a grommet punch, then, you know, by all means, grommet away. But I don't, I don't have one of those either, so. And I know some people who like work with leather and stuff might own one of those, so. That's an option that would look really, really cool. I mean, you could even grommet down an entire bookmark and then weave the ribbon through it and have it come out the top. And that would look, that would look stunning, so. Or if you're making one for somebody that really likes leather products or something, it will make your book bump up because it'll be thick, but it would look very beautiful, so. Your imagination is your limit, really for some of these designs and things. And I added silver to this one. I don't even know if you can see it. It just sparkles. So that's gotta be something. Now, this is gonna dry. I'm going to draw on at least some of these. Let me find a pen. Here's a Micron Sepia. And I'm gonna do this brown one. And I think what I'm gonna draw even though it's stripes, is a cat. And he's going to have his feet up. And now I'm gonna have this be sort of sketched and illustrated. There's different ways you can illustrate um, 
Obviously you can pre-sketch with pencil, that's always nice. You could do a continuous line. Um, I On this one, I varied the line width just to make it a little bit more visually interesting. And that's a choice as well. We'll get sort of a cat ear and a head. And then I'll have to go back and probably add some white to this one. And then here's his back arched. Boy, you're not gonna be able to see this at all. I apologize. <laughs> Can you see that? <laughs> ah, it's a cat. It's a cat. Here, let me try another one that hopefully you'll be able to see in like a five minute time span. Let me find, let me use, I've been using this all week, so. Why would today be any different? Let's do something wild. Let's kind of, let me add a little bit more ink to this guy. You know, I'm using some of these up, some of my supplies. All right, now, you're like, what in the world are you doing? You know, it's a valid question <laughs> at this point. And I am going to try and squish a cat in here. Obviously the more vertical your design, if you're doing like an octopus tentacle or a lamp post, um, anything long, a giraffe. Here is going to be my cat head. Here is going to be my paw. And then he's gonna have a super long silly tail. Anything vertical works. So, and let's give him an eye. Oh, maybe as a closed eye. That'd be fun. Upside down nose. <laughs> uh, and he's happy. He's sleeping. He's a silly goose. All right, there is my cat. I will probably stylize that a little bit with a micron just for some added detail. But I like that, that's kind of funny. He's laying his head down. Oh, maybe I'll give him stripes. He's a blue and black cat. That's fun. Who doesn't have a blue and black cat? But illustrating like this, it's um, it takes me more than 10 minutes to sort of get that on the page. So I'm just doing some faster things. Make sure you can see some of his stripes. <laughs> it looks like his tail got crimped in a door. Oh, you poor baby. <laughs> All righty. There's a little kitty. And it'd be fun. I mean, you can write your own quotes. I will link to some bookmarks I made in 2017. I believe that was the year. And if you want to just print some stuff out on thick cardstock that you have, um, if you're not in an illustration mood but you need some new bookmarks, I drew some out a while back, so you are more than welcome to download that. Um, I probably should update that and add some new ones, but I haven't. So let's give him some, some hair coming off his back. Maybe he has some silly hair coming off his tails. Anyway. I was sort of in an illustration mood and we needed a couple new bookmarks and sometimes it's just fun to design things, you know? And if you're buying any gifts for any reason, for any purpose or any person, including one is always thoughtful. So, this poor little baby. <laughs> He said, why did you draw me like this? I can't help it. Somebody had to do it. Why not be me? Anyway. Some of these have a bit more ink than others. 
Cats are fun. They're a fun animal to draw. Alrighty. <laughs> and maybe I'll add a little white. That'll be fun too. If that one has ink and that one doesn't. I'm using up my supplies. <laughs> can you can you tell? Welcome to my no buy. <laughs> Where every video I talk about it because it's relevant to everything I'm doing. Uh, apologies. All right. Such a cute little toodle. My cat is currently sitting in the window thinking about jumping on this. <laughs> no magpie. <laughs> Please don't. Please don't. You can have the bookmark when you're done and that'll be perfect. I can punch a little hole right there and it won't interrupt the design and my kids who love animals can fight over this one, I guess. <laughs> so I hope this helped in some way. This is partly dry. It's not all the way dry yet, but I will include in the thumbnail, the finished bookmarks, if you're interested in seeing what they look like all done. I hope this inspires you. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will talk to you later. Bye.